10 past seven, which is why my voice is still a little bit husky. But I'm hoping it eases throughout the rest of the day and the rest of this vlog. Um, it feels like spring. It really feels like spring. Obviously we are in spring now, but today just, yeah, really feels lovely. Clear blue skies. It's super bright. Like, as you can see, I'm sat in front of a window and yeah, it's 10 past seven and we have light. So it just feels amazing. I've already had a shower, I've washed my hair. I'm just letting it dry naturally. I'm trying a couple of new products to try and embrace the natural curl, but it looks like it's drying quite straight. Jay gets up at six for work. So I'm slowly easing my way there. Today it was quarter past six. Um, and for me, it depends on my cycle. I'll stay in bed a little bit longer if I'm on my period or just before that time um, and give myself longer to rest and sleep. But yeah, I typically like to wake up early in the spring and summer and embrace the mornings because they're just my favorite time of day. And I just love how peaceful they are and that kind of feeling of being up before the rest of the world. I don't know if anyone else has that. I'm gonna do my meditation course. I've just got a couple of reflection questions to do and then I'm gonna meditate for a little bit and do some yoga as well. So that'll probably take me up until about eight o'clock. Then I'll have some breakfast, put on a little bit of makeup, get changed. And yeah, I'll be ready for the day. I'm working from home for half of today. And then I'm going into the city centre to meet a friend, which will be really lovely. Another fellow yoga teacher in Nottingham, who I've met but I attended some of her sessions, which is really lovely. Um, it will be really nice to kind of meet up with her and properly chat because I've only ever really seen her like in passing or at her session. Then this evening me and Jay are going out for food together. We've not actually had a meal out together, just the two of us since he's been back. So we thought we'd go on a little date together um, and try somewhere new that we've not been to before, which will be lovely. So I've got a really nice day planned actually. Who am I really? We that he asked his students what it was a picture of, and most responded that it was a flying bird. No, he said, it's a picture of the sky with a bird flying. Pretty sure I've said this in a recent vlog, but it really does amaze me how different I am on the days when I make time for yoga and meditation and the days that I don't. So yesterday I woke up a little bit later and I didn't do any yoga or meditation. I did go for a morning walk, but yeah, in the morning I just didn't carve out that time for myself. And I felt it right up until the evening when Jay came home, we were sat on the sofa and I was like, mm, I just feel a little bit off. My mind didn't feel good. And he said, have you practiced yoga meditation? And I said, no. <laughs> and I was like, that is my answer. Especially when I do it in the morning, it brings me into the present and puts me in a good mood for the rest of the day. So it wasn't just because yesterday I didn't practice meditation or yoga that the day fell off. It was more that because I didn't start my day in a positive way, the rest of the day didn't quite pan out like that. In future, I'm gonna try and make sure that if I don't do anything in the morning, I at least try and do it at lunchtime and just have that 10 minutes to just sit and just be.
Honestly, I thought that I would never have anything else for breakfast in my life. I was just completely on the yogurt, granola and berries hype. Then I had some porridge and I'm mixing it up again and we're back to porridge. Um, I have to add a lot of things so it's not boring. So I've got almond butter, pumpkin seeds, blackberries and a little bit of honey. Um, and I would add more things if I had them in. Another nice thing actually is grating an apple into your porridge. That works really well. But I didn't do that today, so yeah, this is my breakfast. I did my skincare before I had breakfast, so I'm gonna pop on a little bit of makeup. Also, I have something called Raynaud's, so if you notice that my fingers are white, that is because I don't have very good circulation and this is the first morning we've not had the heating on because I'd actually rather be a little bit cold than have the heating on and have that stuffiness because we were just finding the other mornings it, it was too warm. I might put it on just before I start working just to kind of actually warm up but I've got my decaf coffee so I'm hoping <laughs> that it'll warm me up and also I've put on a nice thick jumper so that should help. I was sent this from Bare Minerals, it's their Complexion Rescue Brightening Concealer and it's really good, it's a nice lightweight concealer, it's got SPF 25 in so I'm thinking for New Zealand it'll be a good one to take just as a little top up on top of my usual SPF. Um, but yeah, it's just really nice, lightweight but good coverage. And I find that I can get quite dry around my eyes and it doesn't settle into the creases. So yeah, really like it. Also want to say thank you to those of you that have subscribed and are commenting and coming back and have messaged me on Instagram or TikTok saying that you're enjoying the vlogs. I I'm really enjoying it as well. I'm loving creating for YouTube. It's a much slower way of creating content and it just feels more rewarding, I don't know. And I prefer consuming vlogs and long form content like podcast blog posts. So it makes sense for me to create that content as well. And I'm just really enjoying the process. And that is me ready for the day, ready to crack on with work. It is the loveliest spring morning. The sun is working its way round, so I've just scooted back so I can have a little bit on my face. just finished work for my freelance client so I'm gonna have some lunch do a couple of other jobs I've got a couple of TikToks that I want to film and then I'm gonna head into town for the afternoon before I do that actually let me show you this coat that I got from Vinted because I think it's one of the best second-hand things I have ever bought in my life before I show you the coat actually this jumper is also new to me it's originally from Arquette it's a cashmere blend jumper I got this for £16 and when I tell you the condition, it is like new. I mean, I have no idea how I'm going to wash this with it being cashmere. I'm probably going to have to try and hand wash it. Um, but yeah, really nice fit, really cosy jumper. It's going to be amazing for me to take to New Zealand because it's just a really good throw on because I think it will be quite cold in the evenings there. And yeah, just a really lovely oatmeal jumper. I think that this coat is the winner purely for the fact that I actually already have this style of coat in two different colours but it's just at a shorter length and I realised this winter I needed a coat that was long and pretty much down to the floor so yeah I got a sleeping bag coat um this was £40 £40 it's in pretty much brand new condition um a couple of signs of wear but nothing major and I think that they originally retail for over 200 so yeah, a real bargain from Vinted. Over the past three or four years, I've definitely been just more mindful with what I'm buying. I don't really buy into any trends anymore. I buy things that I know that I'll want to wear year after year. So very classic staple pieces that just don't go out of fashion. Buying secondhand is just something that I'm really enjoying. Even for like things like books, I'll often buy my books secondhand now. Um, any pieces of homeware, furniture, there's just so much good stuff out there. It does kind of take a little bit more time, but it's always well worth it. And I feel like there is nothing more satisfying than finding something like this that you, you know, would have potentially bought full price um, and finding it secondhand and giving something a new home. It's just amazing. Um, so yeah, these are my two 
secondhand buys this week, very, very chuffed with them, and yeah, annoyingly, this coat now has to retire probably for about six, seven months until we get to about October, but um, yeah, nice to know that I've got my winter coat for next year sorted. This is my lunch for today. I've had this for the past couple of days. It's basically a risotto, but I've swapped out the risotto rice for quinoa, because that's what we had in. Um, I've got some rocket on the side. I've added a little bit of fresh lemon, and then there's also some walnuts in there as well. And it's really nice. Fast forward about three or four hours, and here we are. I was very close to just abandoning this vlog, not uploading anything, but I do that quite a lot where, you know, I haven't managed to film something and then I think that it's not worthy of uploading and I just thought, I'm going to upload it whatever doesn't matter i didn't really do too much anyway um went into town purely to catch up with a fellow yoga teacher in nottingham who i've been to some of her workshops and i follow her online for a while and we've kept saying we should go for a coffee and we finally did and it was really lovely so i wouldn't have got my camera out anyway i just got the bus there got the bus back and that was it so yeah didn't really miss out on much tonight we're going for dinner so I'm just getting ready and I thought I'd make a little bit more of an effort because I haven't really done this in a while and it just feels nice to kind of put on something that you don't usually wear, maybe get a little bit more dressy, put on a little bit more makeup. Um, so that's what I'm doing because Jay's still out at the moment. I don't know what time he's going to be getting back um, or what time we're going. So I have this free time and I thought, why not? I'm definitely feeling much more myself now my hair is starting to grow out. I got it cut really short in September last year, which wasn't the issue, it was the fringe that I requested. I made the mistake of thinking that curtain bangs with a very short bob would look cute on me and uh, yeah, let's just say I'm not going to be doing that again. I don't mind having short hair but for me it has to be all one length and a longer fringe. We're going to a Japanese restaurant tonight that we've never been to. Um, while Jay was away we made a bit of a list of things that we wanted to do when he was home and trying new independent restaurants that we've not been to was at the top of the list. That's what we're doing. It feels nice to be going out. Rather than speaking to camera, I'm probably going to do a montage of clips with a little bit of music on the top for the rest of the evening. Um, yeah, so thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. <laughs> Oh my gosh, cheap yeah. yeah.